I'd just like you all to close your eyes. Use your imaginations to just think of someone imaginary who might live on Sheppey's. First thing you need to think about is how old are they? Are they a boy or a girl, man or woman? What do they do on Sheppey? We're working together to create ideas for a new audio drama. I've got these little wooden people. But... Which shape of uh, model most suits the person you were just imagining? Uh, these each go with a little character sheet. You're all going to fill in one of these. Think of the world, if you were a character in this play, what world would you want to live in and maybe working towards creating that? And what That's I'm most interested in is your ideas. Has everyone got an idea for a character? Yes. Amazing. Would you like to come and help yourself to one of these little models? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wanted to introduce you to Clara. She's ten years old. She has a tragic backstory and has some suspicions about certain people in town. She's seen almost everyone who comes around and seen them turn into shadow. And the unusual thing about her which makes her interesting is she has dreams which sometimes predict the future. There's six elements which you need to mix together to make the scene work. Go Dave, third-time plumber, passionate about battling. Finding out pregnant is an inciting incident. Getting run over is an inciting incident. There are all these marshes and, and like there's a graveyard on the place. It's quite an interesting island set scene. 280 year old science experiment, but has given birth. I love that. That's brilliant. <laughs> that was my idea. That's super imaginative. Yeah, I like that a lot. Do you know what? It's audio. In audio drama, you can do anything because you don't have to mock it up. So. Baker, I guess, okay, Baker's not that unusual. What else is there about him? But these are a good start. He bakes humans. Um, abandoned school, graveyard, haunted pub, abandoned asylum. Yeah, abandoned places are always cool. To demand goods, to cry, yes, but it's probably to like manipulate, maybe. But can you see how this is not the scene, but just by combining these ingredients, you can come up with the idea for a scene. I'm going to go and do some writing, taking some of these ideas and putting them into a script so you can see what that looks like. Great stuff. You've got brilliant minds and this is a really rich uh, set of material for me to work with, so thank you. Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm a theatre director by trade. Hello, I'm Darren. I'm an actor. My name's Phoebe. I'm an actor and, um, and a director. And they're going to come down and uh, read opposite side of you in the script. I can't wait to tell Lacey all about this. Who's Lacey? My best friend. Page 22, Miku's second voiceover, take one. Gerald is actually a part-time superhero, as well as a teacher. Well, I'm more retired than part-time these days, to be honest. I'm convinced there must be a technical explanation for the shadows, that they could be caused by a technology far beyond our own. It floated up to form a shape. Legs, body, head, arms, a dark yeti, oh my god, a dark yeti? Hundreds and hundreds, and all of them circling Sheppy. How long have they been doing um, acting? Very good question. <laughs> it's about 40 years. How old are you guys? Nine. Nine. I was probably about nine, I think. Started. Yeah, so is that great though that you can actually start acting at the age that you are now? Because I think any age. And it's not the only job in performing art. You've got other jobs, backstage, directing, all sorts of things. Writing. I told you last week, so you'd start writing. That's what I've got. I hope it inspired you in all kinds of ways.